Life, you know what I mean? Cause nine to five is gonna limit your schedule. Put you in this routine, and I'm against that shit. I hate routine. I don't know why they keep talking about me. Talking about me. Two, trophy three, trophy four. One, trophy two. I don't know why they keep talking about me. One, two, three, At least I'm acting like I don't know. But New York don't love me. Trophy four. One, trophy two. Why New York don't love me? Where? 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 I mean, I definitely wanted to be an artist that graduated from university. You know, I definitely wanted to give that to my parents because they never had the opportunity to finish college as well, as, even though they wanted to. The place, and I'm kind of just trying to open up their minds and show them that, you know, their son got it. You know, like, I, I'm doing it for a bigger purpose. They definitely, I mean, like, right now I'm, like, interviewing for, like, marketing companies on Wall Street and shit. And it's, like, it's fine, you know, you get to wear a suit, but they see that as success. Shit, like, oh, you get that. But it's like for me, it's just I'm just trying to find a job just to pay for my studio time. You know. How do you like teach someone how to write a song? You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it, it, that, that's something that you learn through experience. That's something that you. Oh, I like this. This is what I find catchy. This is what sonically works for me. Like I never had interest in it, and I never even really considered it. So I kind of drew on my gut. I think it is still necessary in some some way. Like even if you don't live in New York and you do something creatively, you're gonna have to eventually come to New York. You don't want to turn New York into just like 60 floor high buildings with no personality. You know what I'm saying? Like that's why people come to New York. I've had tourists that like, stop us and shit in the street. Like, oh shit, look at you hear that accent? That's what we came here for. And I didn't even find it racist. I found it authentic. It's, it, there's a reason why there's a cliche among artists when they say, oh, the studio is like therapy. The studio is like my second home. The studio is like a getaway. Like it actually really is, you know. You, know, you think about your creative endeavors so much. You think about like, you know, what you want to do in life. And I know at least for me, you know, this shit is mad expensive. For now, you know, and then, but it, I never leave the studio not feeling like I took a big, deep breath. You know what I mean? Like, it feels like you got somewhere in life. It feels like, oh, okay, this is a for sure step in the right path, you know? And it just lets you let out everything that you bottle in on a normal day basis, you know? Like, there's a lot of things that creatives go through that have nothing to do with creativity or the creation or, you know, fulfilling happiness, just like, you know, regular bullshit, adult shit. So it's like, this is a time where you get to forget about all of that and just, like, you know, make what your soul tells you, you know? Fam late, but then still won't fuck with me. Trying to be a star for bucks, you ain't my cup of tea. Music cure, my volume, my volume. Y'all want shock value, I need pot value. I need some food for thought at a buffet. We're born buffer to learn something about raising my stock value. Punch in, punch out the work to my hand, bro. I ain't cool with rappers, I'm just still in a fan base. But New York don't love me. But New York don't love me. But New York I know where they support, though. Creepy but polite. It's true.